What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to The Ultimate Team. Now this is actually going to be a mini-series broken down in four parts. Part number one, which is today, you are going to see The Ultimate Team, which is the highest rated team in a 3-5-2. The 3-5-2, by the way, is the formation we've chosen, which is the formation you guys chose on Twitter. It was the most popular response when I asked for the, the, most, the best formation in the, in the game. I know a lot of you won't agree with this, but please understand that this is the most popular choice which is why I chose it so today we're going to be giving you the highest rated team uh, non informs of course the next time I do this it will be my ultimate team which will be my players in my favorite like my favorite players in each position the third time around we're going to be doing it is going to be the highest rated team based on total in-game stats which you can get from footwiz.com they have all the in-game stats there and again that's going to be non informs and the final team is going to be the absolute highest rated team, including informs and man of the match cards and all that sort of jazz. I might do a fifth one. Wow, there's um, there's a phone call. Um, I might do a fifth one, guys, which will be you guys' highest rated team. But it's so hard to get all your opinions together at once and kind of put it in there. And before we get into the actual team, guys, if you'd like to purchase any Ultimate Team coins, check out utcointraders.com. Their link is in the description, a very fast and reliable service. One more thing that I want to talk to you about before I actually get into the players and into the gameplay, guys, is that I've allowed one position leeway for every single position. So for example, the right midfielder can either be a right wing or a right mid. It cannot be a right forward or a left forward. The cam can either be a center forward, a cam or a center midfielder. The CDMs as well can be a centre midfielder or a CDM and the strikers can either be a centre forward or a striker. Like I say, just to allow one position leeway um, just to get the absolute highest rated team. Now, you'd be surprised how much chemistry this gets and you'll be surprised that the difference is in the teams. But let's get into the team before we go on any further, guys. So in goal, um, let's go 4 three, five, three, five, two. even. In goal, guys, the highest rated goalkeeper is Iker Casillas. He plays for Real Madrid in um, the Spanish League. Uh, of course, the BBVA. I picked him up for around sixty thousand coins, uh, but the price of this team isn't really important. It's just about how you know how good the team is. The centre backs we have got, guys. Uh, we've got Nemanja Vidić, plays for Manchester United. Uh, he cost me sixty nine thousand coins there. We've also got Sergio Ramos. Again, plays for Real Madrid in Liga BBVA, cost me one hundred and five thousand coins. And lastly, we've got Thiago Silva. 287 rated players, 189 rated player. Thiago Silva cost me 128,000. I bought him a long time ago. He's actually selling for about 180,000 right now. In at the CDM spots, guys, the two highest rated... Uh, what do you mean there's no... Wait, are they CMs? They are CMs. Wait, no. Okay. So apparently the game's telling me that I've got no one. Hmm, interesting game. Let's just go like this. Midfielder, where are my players? Look, there, there they are. Look at that. So, Javi is uh, the first CDM, guys, and um, the second CDM, why is it telling me there's no CDMs? Is Cesc Fabregas, believe it or not. And 87 rated is the highest between the CMs and the CDMs. So, there's two players right there for you, both from Barcelona. Fabregas cost me 9,000 and Xavi cost me 51,000. Of course, they are converted down from central midfield positions to CDMs. Neither of their natural positions are cams, otherwise they wouldn't be allowed in a CDM position. I don't necessarily think they're going to play very well here, but uh, they've got to be there because they are the highest rated. In at the right midfield spot, guys, we've got Ayan Robin. 88 rated. He cost me 240,000. He's actually going for around 300 to 310,000 right now. So uh, could probably sell him and make a bit of a profit. And in at the left mid, it's obvious who's going to be the left midfielder. That's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Now I picked Cristiano Ronaldo up for 1.545 million. He's selling for around 1.6 to 1.7, but uh, yeah, I'm not looking to sell him anyway. So that completes the midfield, guys. In at the cam spot, we've got Wayne Rooney. So of all the strikers, centre forwards and cams, sorry, of all the centre forward cams and centre midfielders, which is the only position can go here, we've got Wayne Rooney. He cost me 52,500 in the 352. I actually think he's going to play really well there. And then up front, guys, you can probably guess the two strikers, Lionel Messi on one side and uh, Falcao goes on the other side. Now, Falcao was relatively cheap, cost me 19,500. And Lionel Messi cost me 1.3 million. So this is the team, guys. And as you can see in the top right-hand corner, it gets 94 chemistry with a Spanish manager, which is the maximum chemistry it can get. The only thing that I want to change in this team right now, it, like if you want the best rated team with the best chemistry, like the best possible chemistry, this is it. 
However, if you reduce this to 92 chemistry, you can get Ronaldo on 9 instead of 7. He actually goes to 9 if we just drop out there and go back in. Ronaldo goes to 9 chemistry, as you can see. But uh, Casillas goes to 6 chemistry. So it depends whether or not you want Ronaldo or Casillas on 9. I want Casillas on 9 chemistry because I think Ronaldo at 7 won't be too much different from it on 9. But this, guys, is the highest rated team in the game. Not including Informs, Man of the Match and Team of the Season, Team of the Year cards. So, guys, going to go and play some games with this. I'm going to give it 4 or 5 games and see how it goes show you some clips at the end and talk about how good the team is and uh, some standout players but um, yeah we're going to get into the gameplay but in the meantime guys if you wouldn't mind dropping a like that would be fantastic okay guys so into the gameplay we go and I just want to show you right here I'm currently 4-0 down at this first game that I played and the guy scores a goal with there with Loic Remy in the 36th minute to make it 5-0 and I played a goal tournament and I was thinking like this team is shit like it's shocking it's exactly what I thought it would be it's handicapped, it's got poor chemistry, it's got players that, yeah, they're, they're rated highly, but they don't play well. But I thought, let me just change what I would normally change to make the team a little bit better. And basically what I changed was, I put Vidic as the central centre-back, and I put, um, I had Thiago Silva as the right centre-back, and the Ramos as the left centre-back, because Vidic was just getting done for pace on the right-hand side of the field, time and time again. And it was really frustrating me. And then I thought, let me play to this team's strengths. And the strengths of this team is its passing ability, its technique, and it's just overall brilliance, pretty much. So what I did was I really slowed the play down, got a really lucky goal there with Robin. I really slowed the play down and started to take my time with the passing and the moving and actually pick the passes and the control and the touch of these players, even the ones that are on six and seven chemistry, is just phenomenal, you know, it's really good. Like the shooting is really good. And despite what I thought, or in spite of what I thought, Vidic is an insane centre-back. I think he works well because he's paired with two really other fast centre-backs and he doesn't really get up the field too much. But he is such a strong player to have in a team. His strength is incredible. His heading and defending are so high that he wins everything in the box. Like You'll see a couple of goals from him in this game. This game that I turned around, I was 5-0 down after 45 minutes. And then I came back and here is me going 6-5 up with a nice finish from Robin. Look at him just dancing in around this guy's players and just a tidy little finish there. Absolutely clinical player. Um... And yeah, Vidic is really, really good. He wins everything in the box. He scores a couple of goals. He stops me from conceding many, many times in corners. And I was just really, really impressed with him. Now, what I want you guys to do as well. First of all, I just want to explain why I picked Fabregas. I know there are like two or three other guys there that could uh, be in there. Like Xavi Alonso. Um, he could be, you know, he's a CDM or a CM. So he could be converted to that spot. But um, there's also a Perlo as well that could go in there. But I chose Fabregas because I prefer him as a player in this game myself. Um, but um, yeah, basically, that that was how good the team played. And I really enjoyed playing with this team. But what I want you guys to do, because I, I want to try and figure out the community ultimate team. So this is going to be really, really, really tough. But I want you guys to put in the comment section, literally like draw out teams. Put goalkeeper, dash, then your favorite goalkeeper. Um, defend, it's going to be in the 3-5-2. So DC, dash, then your favorite DC. And do that three times. Then obviously got like left midfield, dash, and your favorite left mid. What I don't want, guys, is I don't want positions to be moved more than twice. Sorry, more than once. So a cam can either play as a centre forward or a centre midfield. Of course, there's no centre forward position in this formation. So a cam will only be a, a, the cam or the centre midfield. The centre forward can either play as a cam or a striker. Uh, the CDM can either be the CDM or CM, although there's no CM in this. Uh, a CM can play as a CDM or as a cam, although I don't think there's many CMs that you'd actually move up to a cam. Um, maybe Fellaini, he might be a good one, but he's obviously not, you know, not very good. But I want to build basically like the most, the most overpowered community team basically. So this is the highest rated team and the the the, old, the highest rated ultimate team. But I want to build like the ultimate team. So for example, as a striker, I would pick S Vine myself because he is ridiculously good. He is insane. As a right midfielder, I would pick Robin, but I know there are many people that would pick, you know, Ben Arthur as a favourite. Left midfield, I like Ribéry, I like Ronaldo, but I know Asaidi would get a lot of love, so on and so forth. So as this video draws to a close, I actually went on to win the Gold Cup with this team, guys, and I was stunned. This is the final here. Look at that from Messi. The pace, the shot, I didn't expect it from him, honestly. I, I usually dislike playing with Messi, but he was a joy to play with in this team for some reason. So there you go, guys. I won the Gold Cup with this team. I'm a shot.
shocked as you guys are. It is the best team in the game without informed man of the match and uh, team of the seasons and stuff. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace!